वेलकम टू श्री चैतन्य वेलकम टू जे मैक्स जे मेन्स अड्वां एक्सट्रीम सीरीज सीजन नंबर टू एक्चुअल इन सीजन नंबर टू वी आर कंप्लीटली कॉन्सेंट्रेटिंग ऑन ए पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक एंड वी आर गिविंग एंटायर इंफॉर्मेशन ऑन द पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक ऑफ दैट कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फॉर बोथ जे मेन्स एंड अड्वांस एक्सामेशन सो फार वी हेव कंप्लीटेड सक्सेसफुल ट्वेंटी सिक्स लेसन दिस इज लेसन नंबर ट्वेंटी सेवन इन कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर actually in uh, up to lesson number 26 uh, we have completed uh, uh, exercises uh, 4.1 4.2 from our uh, integrated book now today and with this lesson onwards uh, we are concentrating uh, exercise 4.3 that is the problems from the 4.3 again my friends please uh, uh, please uh, don't forget to check the description there i am providing very good links and important uh, uh, lessons of uh, previous videos and please don't forget to share and uh, subscribe my channel and don't uh, forget to press the bell icon now coming to lesson number 27 actually in lesson number 27 as i said now uh, this is uh, from icon integrated test book now in this lesson 27 we are concentrating uh, problem number 1 of that uh, four five pro four problems are there one to four problems that we are concentrating now let us concentrate first problem see the statement if omega is a complex cube root of unity then show that this is equal to zero of course this is the most important question uh, for board examination as well as for mains type of examination here i am giving the clue how to get it because already you know the relations uh, between uh, omega and when if it is cube root of unity you know that omega cube is equal to 1 and 1 plus omega plus omega square is equal to 0 and we are now using these properties conveniently how to use better is it is very simple you take the lcm you take the lcm lcm is what 1 plus 2 omega into 1 plus omega 1 plus omega into 2 plus omega then this is what 1 plus omega into 2 plus omega this is just a small algebra and this is minus of 1 plus 2 omega into 2 plus omega and this is plus 1 plus 2 omega Into one plus omega. Now simplify the numerator. I think uh, and substitute whenever omega cube appears, you write that as or replace that as with one and uh, in in the place of one plus omega, you write omega square and in the place of omega plus omega square, you write minus one and in the place of one plus omega square, you write minus omega. After simplification, you will get uh, numerator as one plus omega plus omega square. That I will explain with these type it steps. See the hint. So what I did. I took the LCM. Now you multiply all the terms. You just a product all these things, and after simplification, this is what this is two uh, two gets cancelled, and it is three uh, omega and plus three omega five six uh, omega six omega minus five omega. It is omega, and it is what two uh, omega square two omega square gets cancelled. So I got omega square. And of course, one is there. So one plus omega plus omega square. But at least to bother about the denominator. Anyhow, numerator is zero. Zero by something is zero. So this is about uh, the first question. Very simple question. And of course, we can expect this type of questions for integer type of problems in the mains examination. And moreover, this is very very important for board examination also. Now coming to question number one, problem number two. Yeah. Again, this is one of the. Title favorite question in complex numbers and questions of this form and model very very important for uh, board as well as the competitive examinations. Several times questions were repeated also, and it is very very important even for uh, MCQ examination also. Here it is very simple concept. You please try to understand. Here the procedure that I am solving is very very important. So what is given? X minus one whole cube plus eight is equal to zero. This is given for you. So what I am doing is x minus one whole cube is equal to minus eight. So this I can write it as x minus one equal to cube root of minus eight. This I can write it as this is the very very important step one should practice minus two into cube root of one. This you need to write because if you are in the real field. Then you write answer as minus two. Since now we are solving the problems in a complex domain, therefore I have to write this as minus two into cube root of one. 
So this is nothing but minus 2 into what is cube root of 1 that 1 comma omega comma omega square. So by multiplication of minus 2 then it becomes what minus 2 comma minus 2 omega comma minus 2 omega square. So x minus 1 is equal to minus 2 that implies x is equal to 1 minus 2 that is equal to minus 1. Similarly x minus 1 is equal to minus 2 omega that implies x is equal to 1 minus 2 omega and x minus 1 is equal to minus 2 omega square. So x is equal to 1 minus 2 omega square. So finally what are my answers? Minus 1, 1 minus 2 omega, 1 minus 2 omega square. Here the methodology what kind of steps that I have followed to solve this kind of problem is very very important after that this is the golden step. Rest of all other things are what? Algebraic steps, algebraic manipulations. So here the concept problem is only this one. Rest of all other things are well known steps for you. So this is about uh, problem number 2 of 1. Okay. Now my friends coming to problem number 3. Of course here, see, read the statement properly. What is given for you? If x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0, then show that sigma r is equal to 1 to 25 x power r plus 1 by x power r whole square equal to 49. Yeah, if this is one of the important quadratic equation. Already I told you, just to verify our previous videos. Whenever this kind of quadratic equations are given for you, so immediately if you, the roots for this quadratic equation are x is equal to omega comma omega square, you can write it. Because you can solve it. x is equal to minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. You can also apply that. But in general, we represent minus 1 plus i root 3 by 2 as omega. Minus 1 minus i root 3 by 2 as omega square. That's why. So directly I am writing this as what? My steps. So now you sub and moreover, you know that omega cube is equal to 1. What does it mean? So they are reciprocals to each other. So omega square is equal to 1 by omega and omega is equal to 1 by omega square. This is, these are the most important steps to, to solve this problem because now what I am doing is in the place of x you substitute that as omega. So what will happen? The sigma r is equal to 1 to uh, 25 that x power r that I can write it as omega power r plus this is nothing but 1 by omega power r whole square. But I can write this as what? Sigma r is equal to 1 to 25, this I can write omega power r, but uh, what is omega, 1 by omega, omega square? I can write this as omega power 2 r, whole square. Now it is in the form of a plus b whole square. So apply, what is that? Sigma r is equal to 1 to 25, that is what? Omega power 2 r plus omega power 4 r plus 1. Now separate sigma, this is important, this establishment is important. So this is what sigma omega power 2r plus sigma omega power 4r plus sigma 1 where r is equal to 1 to 25, r is equal to 1 to 25, r is equal to 1 to 25. These are the most important steps. Rest of the things is now each and every term they are in the form of a geometric progression and you know that a plus ar plus ar square plus ar cube whole power and that's on ar power n minus 1 if it is in the geometric progression. What is sum to n terms of the geometric progression? Because you know this formula a plus ar plus ar square plus and so on plus a r power n minus 1 is equal to a into 1 minus r power n by 1 minus r. This you know it very well. Of course, if uh, this is what? Uh, if 1 less than r, if r is less than 1, something like that. So now Please note down these steps. Here I am giving the hints. So what I did? Here 1 plus 1 omega comma omega square are what? Roots of cube roots of unity. So immediately I have replaced the roots of this equation are omega and omega square. And if x is equal to omega or omega square you can take anything. And moreover omega square is equal to 1 by omega and omega is equal to 1 by omega square. So in the place of x I have written omega power r. And 1 by omega x omega is nothing but omega square that I can write it as omega power 2 or whole square. So now simplify this. Okay. After simplification, this is what? 1 plus uh, 2 plus uh, 2 plus omega power 2 r plus um, omega power 4 r because uh, 
you can write this as uh, 2ab 2ab means omega cube is equal to 1 again you apply this one so you can get this separate this this is in the form of what i just just say, i said now a plus ar plus ar square and uh, oh, ar power n minus 1 equal to a into r power n minus 1 by r minus 1 this is the formula you apply this so here i have applied this formula but it is very simple and it is what uh, this is this is this becomes again what uh, uh, zero and uh, uh, this after simplification you can get this as omega square see here omega square whole power 25 that is important for you how to calculate omega square whole power 25 that is omega power 70 how can I write omega power 75 that is uh, and of course omega cube is equal to what man this is what omega I, I, I can write uh, omega power 75 as what uh, omega square into omega power 73 okay and you simplify this one you simplify this one you can get cancelled omega square omega square gets cancelled similarly here also they can get cancelled after simplification you can get that as very simple because omega power 75 is nothing but omega square because uh, i can write that is this as what omega cube whole power is 75 divided with uh, three three ones uh, three uh, three twos are six uh, one five three uh fives so 25 omega square whole power 25 so okay Simplification, this becomes 1 plus uh, omega square plus this again what? Omega cube into omega square, uh, omega cube into omega, uh, sorry, omega into omega cube, I can write omega cube is 1. Again, this term, this term cancel, this term, this term cancel. Omega plus omega square is minus 1. So, 25 into 2 is 50, 50 minus 1 is 48. So, you can get answer as what? 48. So, this is what? The beauty in the question is, though it is in the form of uh, complex numbers but here it covers th three areas one is quadratic equations another one is progressions so this type of models are again useful and important for competitive examinations and this is the problem this is a, of course it, it may not uh, uh, useful for board examination but it is very very important for uh, JE mains and advanced type of examinations okay now coming to one fourth problem again here omega is cube root of unity it's very clear cut given so show that actually instead of asking show that uh, in a competitive examination so they may ask uh, is equal to dash they may give options 1 minus 1 0 or 2 something like that or they may ask the question in the form of uh, uh, integer type also but here the trick is if you are Though you are good at uh, solving uh, or multiplicate, multiplying uh, or simplification, simplifying the equations and lengthy products, but it, it takes time and it wastes your time also. But apply the common sense. Here I am using the beautiful common sense that is, uh, please uh, try to understand the denominator. What is the beauty in the denominator? Here the coefficient of c is 1. So here what is here? Here coefficient of c is omega square. In the first term, here coefficient of c is omega square. Similarly, here again, the coefficient of c is 1, whereas in a numerator, the coefficient of c is omega. So, what I am doing is, now, from numerator, you take omega square as common from first term in the numerator. Similarly, from the second term, you take omega as common from second term in the numerator. See the beauty, what will happen? See, now this is the hint. So, what I did? I have taken omega square common from numerator and this becomes like this. Similarly, I have taken omega common form. How to get this idea? You just observe the denominator and try to observe the coefficient of constant. So, if coefficient of constant C is what? Any, any constant, not only coefficient of C, you can take coefficient of A, you can take coefficient of B also. If it is, if, if coefficient of A is omega, so better is you multiply uh, numerator with omega and divided with omega, like that. So, it, it happens like that and moreover, 1 by omega square becomes what? Omega. And 1 by omega square is nothing but what? Omega. So, if omega square. So, it is this term and this term gets cancelled. Similarly, this term and this term gets cancelled because the reason is omega square is 1 by omega. Omega is equal to 1 by omega square. And moreover, omega cube is equal to 1. Apply these three. This is a beautiful point. And now, omega square plus omega, you will get it finally. So, what is omega square plus omega? That is minus 1 to simplify this. 
So like this problem, if anybody is applying this kind of technique, then only he can get the answer immediately. Otherwise, they will waste the time. By if you are taking, uh, if you are simplifying this straight away, it will it takes a lot of time and you will, uh, uh, sometimes you do mistakes also. And it wastes the time also. Okay, na? now oh, my friends, I think uh, it is very, very easy for you. If you like this video, please uh, share and subscribe my channel and please don't forget to uh, press the bell icon. We will meet with the lesson number 28 in next class. Okay, thank you.